this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. So, yes, this is going to be a general love reading, meaning it is not a twin soul reading or twin flame reading. But, however, if the twin soul or twin flame cards come up or the vibe comes up, I will definitely let you know. So this is a general love reading. So it's not going to resonate with everyone, but it's going to resonate with someone. It's also a timeless read. Um, so whenever you find this reading, it's for you. Though it is timeless, we are going to try to focus our energy on September. So let's figure out what's going on in your love life for September. Scorpio, let me give me one second so I can clear your energy. Clear the energy. All right, so here we go, Scorpio. Um, where are my cards? Oh, here they are. They were hiding. All right, so I'm starting out with my Oceanic Tarot. All right, what do we need to know for Scorpio? What do we got for Scorpio? Scorpio, trying to focus our energy for September. No, we're not going to try. We are. What does Scorpio need to know about their love life for September, please? All the Scorpios that watch me. And the new ones tuning in, if there are any new ones. <laughs> what do we got for our beautiful water signs, our Scorpios? What do we got for Scorpios? Woof! Look at that. Beautiful energy. Scorpio, it's you. We have death. Transformation. <laughs> oh, I would love to do one Scorpio read where that doesn't come out, right? I, I feel like, and I'm a Scorpio rising, so I can relate. It feels like they're, once you're a Scorpio, the energy of transformation is always around us, right? All the time. It's nonstop. Transform, transform, be different, change, 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 change. It feels like a constant in our lives. So while I'm not surprised that this came out, I would love for one reading where we don't have to deal with change, right? <laughs> it feels like change is a constant with Scorpio. King of Wands, practicality. Okay, I'm not, I don't know yet what's what's popping, but that's my Twin Flame card. There's, oh God, there's way too many cards, Spirit. So right here, I've named this as one of my Twin Flame cards because we have the two seahorses. Seahorses are a twin flame symbol. You can look it up if you don't believe me. Um, seahorses mate for life. So some of you could have, after a period of like intense transformation, <laughs> of course, we have a king of wands. So it's a possible fire sign, male, masculine energy, possibly your twin flame. Okay. I don't know. Let's see how this is playing out, Scorpio. Whoa. Oh my gosh. But your energy is beautiful. Your cards are literally just slapping out, falling out, slapping me in the face. The world regeneration. So wowzers. Okay. Oh, lots, lots of beautiful energy here, Scorpio. Amazing. And it's crossed by the King of Wands. So going through you're going through a huge transformation right um yet after this transformation is the energy of the world okay so you have a connection coming in with a possible fire sign could be your twin soul okay we're just going to go ahead and say it is your twin soul because like i said if a twin twin flame twin soul card comes out that i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna let you know and that's my twin flame card so we're going to go ahead and say, if you're watching this and you're concerned whether or not this person is your twin soul, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I would say yes. I would say yes, Scorpio. Okay. Now, the world. You'll know too. Like, you'll know if this is your twin soul. Like, it's because it's not going to be someone who's like low vibrational, beats you up, cheats on you, does stupid shit, right? This is going to be someone who, you know, possibly made mistakes but they're basically a good person you know what i'm saying they're not a complete fuckwad okay so we have this energy of regeneration right this energy of closing out cycles um this energy of um 
abundance of the cycle of death and rebirth. So it's after the death, after the transformation, after the change, boom, we have new life. We have new love. We have new energy. There's a, a regeneration of life. There's a change of life. A good one. It's the circle of life has come around and it's coming into your favor, Scorpio. Ace of Wands. See, there's the growth. There's the new energy. So this... It's very possible I am channeling for the Divine Feminine in this reading. I don't know for sure. Now, you could be a male and you just, you know, um, relate more to the feminine energy. It doesn't matter. It's not about gender, right? Okay. If you relate more to the female energy, okay, your Divine Masculine counterpart, they are very sexually attracted to you. Ace of Wands is, to me, is very strong sexual attraction, okay? It's also the energy of wanting to come forward quickly and have this fresh start with you because both of you have changed so much, okay? Not only have you changed, Scorpio, and with this huge, agonizing um, transformation, which I feel was very painful and very hard, but if your person is your twin soul, right, if this person is your twin soul, then they would have went through their own transformation too, their own growth, their own regeneration. So both of you are at the same level right now. Six of Wands, success. So the outcome looks very good for both of you. It's a public declaration of love. Let's see. Let's get a few more cards and then we'll make a final outcome. Damn, look at that. See, there it is. Um, Scorpio, Four of Pentacles, security. So you guys have both been very, very patient, okay? Scorpio, you've been extremely patient. You, Your energy is so beautiful. You've been working so hard to create this security for yourself and possibly also for your person. Okay, sorry about that. My little guy came in. He had to go potty. All right, so, I mean, he's he's doing really well. He's potty training, so he's doing good. So, Scorpio, you've worked really hard, bless your heart, and creating security for yourself so that you don't have to depend on anyone other than yourself. And I see that the struggle has been, it's been a bit of a struggle. And, you know, you've been really patient, and you've taken the time and put in the work, and... I feel like this is why the universe is bringing in your twin flame because you've been, you know, very patient with yourself. So both of you guys are creating this stability for yourself. Wow, look at that again. We have the lovers. It says choices. Amazing. Look at that beautiful energy. So all you have to do is choose this person and they, they've already chosen you, right? What's the final outcome for these two beautiful twin souls? What's the final outcome? What's the final outcome for Scorpio and this person? There it is. Three of Cups, Reunion. So if you know who your twin soul is, twin flame, and you've been um, out of touch, this is your sign that your reunion's coming. It literally says reunion right there. Okay. So if you are not in union, but you do know who your twin flame is, there's your reunion. It's right. It's there. Just claim it. It's yours. Right. Um, if you do not know who your person is, when this person comes in, I mean, look at this beautiful energy. You guys are creating security for each other. Um, you've created this security in yourself. Therefore, when you get together, you're you will create it for each other. 
And there's the strong energy. The three of cups is the energy of marriage and celebrations. Hold on one second. <laughs> now you gotta go poop. Okay, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. We're back, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, this is not a shitty connection. Um, if if you're in a really shitty connection right now, this is not it, okay? This is the energy of a twin flame connection where everything is flowing smoothly. You are on the verge of reunion. Um, the Three of Cups is about celebrating. It's about joy. It's about marriage. So, you know, I feel like all of those things that come with love, the celebration, the joy, the ecstatic bliss, right? Those are all in this connection, okay? Now, if, you know, if you don't want marriage, then that's fine. Um, you know, maybe maybe it's not something that you value or whatever, but three, three of Cups is about marriage. So if you want to get married, you know, there's definitely the energy of like your person wanting to marry you. So, all right. That being said, we are, um, we're pretty much done. <laughs> like there's nothing else more to channel. This is a really divinely guided connection. You both have shown a lot of growth and, you know, they want, they want a future with you. Like there's no, so if there's any doubts, if there's someone and they're giving you wishy-washy energy, then that, that they're not your person. They're not your twin flame because you know what you want and you want stability and you want security and you want honesty and you want loyalty and you want to be with, you know, this person and you want, you know, um, Oh God, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? You want a commitment with this person, then they're going to want a commitment with you. So this would be someone who wants a commitment with you, not someone that's giving you the runaround, right? So if it's someone that's giving you the runaround, that, that's not your person. Because this is someone that knows what they want, just like you. Okay, so let's go ahead and go um, on to the Romance Angels. What else do we need to know about this beautiful connection, this divinely guided connection for Scorpio? Now, if your Venus sign is in Scorpio, I would watch this as well because, you know, my Venus is in Gemini. So sometimes the Gemini love reads will resonate with me. Because though I am a Leo Sun, most of the time I like to watch the Leo Sun readings. Um, occasionally I'll watch the Scorpio readings because I am a Scorpio rising. And, you know, every once in a while I'll watch the Gemini reads because my, my Venus is in Gemini. But usually the Gemini love reads don't resonate with me. So I don't know. It's strange. All right. So we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. See, I told you, if you're, if you're not in union, you're going to be soon. I called it. So when it happens, comment down below and let me know. Say you are right. Because I know. All right. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this is about doing the shadow work, Scorpio. You've done the shadow work. You've forgiven yourself. You've forgiven your parents. And if you haven't, then you're you're in the process of healing those family issues. And that's why, you know, you're being gifted with this twin flame connection it's not easy doing the work right it's not it's definitely not easy doing the healing work forgiving and learning see i just said that you're you're learning to forgive yourself forgive others that have hurt you and you know people get confused because they're like oh i can't forgive this person for what they did to me because it's this and it's that it's not excusing what they they did we're not saying oh it's okay that they raped you it's okay they molested you or it's okay that they cheated on you or whatever it's not for them it's for you it's so that you can feel peace and gratitude in your heart you know let them go about and do their whatever they're going to do okay it's not saying that what they did was right. It's not excusing it. It's not saying it's okay for them to do that. It's saying, forget them. Okay. Forget them, forgive them, 
send them away with love. You don't ever have to see their stupid face ever again if you don't want to, right? It's not about them. It's about you. Give yourself that peace of mind and that love and say, I'm not excusing what they did, but I'm forgiving what they did so that I can have peace in my heart. And I'm letting them know that they don't have power over me anymore. I've forgiven you. There's nothing you can do that can hurt me anymore because that feeling is gone. I replaced it with love. Love and forgiveness for myself. Right? So it says as you release and heal the past, um, you experience more love in your present moment. See? If, you're, if you haven't done this yet, you're in the process of doing it, Scorpio. And because of that, you deserve this twin flame connection, right? It's not easy to do the work. I literally have been doing self-hypnosis for my abandonment issues, right, that I have in regards to love. And my God, it's, it's not pleasant, right? It's not pleasant. I mean, it's relaxing because it's, you know, it's hypnosis, whatever. So, but... You know, nobody wants to, nobody wants to, first of all, the ego doesn't want you to admit that you have those issues. The ego is like, nope, you don't have that. You don't have abandonment issues. I mean, it took me years to even face that I had that, those issues because I was in denial since 2018. <laughs> I was like, I don't have abandonment issues, but clearly I do because every single connection I've ever felt, the deep connections, right? Right. The times when I really, 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 really wanted to love someone, that abandonment issue got in the way. And then I became needy and I became clinging. I became afraid, like, you're going to leave me. And so I I would always try to leave them first or I would try to, you know, I, I, I went back and forth this energy of like, I'm too clingy, I'm too needy, like fill my cup or, you know, um, it was either that or it was, you know, I... I wasn't present with them at all. It was just like, I, you know, was too independent. And so it was like these teeter totter, um, energy of like, I want you, I don't want you. I don't want you. I want you a lot. And I'm not sure if I want you. And so, you know, people will feel that energy and you need to balance that energy out and you need to heal those wounds. And so nobody likes to admit that they have issues like that. Like I said, I fought it since 2018, but when I finally decided this year to face it, and to heal it, and I empowered myself by doing the self-hypnosis to heal that wound, and now I feel ready for anything, right? And that's what you're doing, Scorpio, and it's not easy to face those energies, and that is why Spirit is saying you deserve this twin flame connection. Don't let anyone fucking tell you different. Boom. All right, let's, let's go. Let's keep going. What else do we have for Scorpio? So good job, Scorpio. If nobody tells you this, I'm going to tell you this. I am fucking proud of you, Scorpio. I am so proud of you. You go. You did the damn thing, okay? And you deserve this connection. So when it comes in, don't fuck it up. <laughs> All right? Revel in it. You deserve it. You deserve the ecstatic bliss, Scorpio. Nature spirits, number 35. I respect all of nature's elemental beings and help preserve life on earth. So you understand that everything in life is connected. We're all connected. Um, the animals, the trees, the spirits, even the elementals like the fays, um, the elves, and you love all of them. And, you know, for some of you, you spend a lot of time outdoors you're the type of person that you go outside and you see trash and you'll pick it up because you're like, oh, this is ridiculous. Like, I hate when people litter. You know, you shine your light by taking care of the earth. And this is also another reason why you deserve this connection. So number 35, add up 5 and 3 and it's number 8. So this is an infinite love. That's my infinite. 8 is my number of, of infinite. Infinite connection, infinite love. This is a love which has transcended even death. That's beautiful. Meditation. Boom. Look at you, Scorpio. Getting it. Woo. I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me. Look at you meditating. Your chakras are balanced. You're, you've healed yourself. You, you know, you're on a constant journey of healing every single day. 
You know, the healing journey never ends. But look at you. You you're you're just you're glowing, you're healing, your chakras are balanced, your energy is on fire, your aura is shining, you are fucking glowing. And that is why your twin flame is goo goo gaga over you right now. Flames of wisdom. We have the crone. And look at you, you've learned so much. You have the crone energy, which is the energy of the wise one. The owl represents a wise spiritual leader. Look at I I'm I love this. I love you, Scorpio. <laughs> I'm in love with you too. I'm in love with you too. I'm not even twin flame, but I love you, Scorpio. All right. So this says, I'm open to all of life's wisdom and I share it with gratitude. So yes, I feel like some of you are a spiritual leader. You're a spiritual teacher. You might, you might teach other people the shit that you learned because you are, you have done it, Scorpio. You learned so much. You've done so much healing. Your aura is incredible right now. I can feel it. And you've learned so much throughout this journey. And now you're in this position where you can teach other people all of the beautiful lessons. You're the head of the pack. You are the, the way shower of the, the 5D. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. And number 39, add it up and it's 12. So your energy is balanced. And you're bringing in all sorts of beautiful new beginnings for yourself. Whoa. Oh, you And by the way, you're on fire creatively. Like you're just on a roll. Like your, your creative energy is like boom, boom, boom. It's slapping, Scorpio. I'm so proud of you. I can't even. It's amazing. I love all of it. Okay, let's do some career cards for you. And then we're going to end with the spirit guide, which is aiding you in your journey and we're done i don't even have anything else to channel for you because you're i mean you're just you should just channel for me <laughs> you don't even need my help Scorpio. you're on fire can i just say that okay see i told you i just said that i feel like creatively you're on a roll you have unlimited ideas and it's because your mind is connected to the the infinite's mind. So your your mind is connected to the divine, whatever that is for you. You know, source, God, Jesus, Buddha, I don't I don't care. Your mind is connected to the universal universe of divine bliss and consciousness, right? Your 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 mind is you are connected. Your mind is the same as the mind of the divine. However form that takes for you, whether it's Father Sky, God, whatever, the Holy Spirit, you're connected to it. So your ideas are flowing. They're coming straight from the, the mind of the one, right? The one divine energy which loves us all, okay? Holy moly. This is one of the greatest readings I've done. You, you and Virgo are on fire. I love it. Bountiful nature. It says spending time in nature helps you to shift to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. So it reminds you of the universe's infinite abundance, God's infinite abundance. Um, go outside, take a walk, sit under the stars and connect with the limitless vastness. So, you know, I feel like you do that anyways, Scorpio. We kept getting the nature card. So I feel like you especially really, really love being out in nature. You love just sitting and meditating. You love being in nature. Okay, sorry about that. So as I was saying, I feel like some of you really love to be in nature anyways. And you're you're already doing that. So, <clears throat> But Spirit is just reaffirming that nature loves you as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and get your final card, which is the spirit guide, which is assisting you in this divine union. This is the only reason, the only reading I can honestly say for sure um, that this is a, definitely feels like a twin flame connection. Okay, just put that out there. There might have been one other, 
There might have been one other sign where I definitely felt that as well, but I can't remember which one it was. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right. So what is the final card for Scorpio, please? What is the spirit guide that is helping Scorpio with this connection? What is the final advice? Oh my goodness, one second. Okay. Oh God, sorry about that, Scorpio. So I have... <laughs> I have a cat who recently, um, in June became blind and he's really old. So I knew that he was going blind. Um, he was losing his sight because he has like, uh, I don't even know, uh, cataracts or something with his eyes. <laughs> so we knew it was coming, but now he's completely blind. And the other cat that we have, um, isn't very nice to him. He tends to just attack him at random times and you know since the the other cat is blind you know he gets really really scared and he gets he can get injured so I heard them fighting and so what I did was I brought the blind cat in here with me since the other cat is being a total ass all right so that's what you, you heard him he was sneezing all right so what's the final card for Scorpio please what is the final advice for Scorpio Wow. So we have the Spiral Dancer. This is a beautiful card. I actually got this card in a personal reading that I did for myself um, a few days ago. So it's number five, which is, you know, the number of change. And again, it's Scorpio energy, right? <laughs> five is the number of change. Um, and, you know, Scorpio is like the god and goddess of transformation and change. It's, you know, the energy of death, which is the energy of change, is a constant in Scorpio's life. Um, but this is the spiral dancer. It's circuitous route or perception. So this card is all about when you think, sorry, that's my chair is squeaky. It's okay, kitty. So this is the card of like, when you think you're revisiting something, you think that the energy is you're going back around in a loop, right? You think that you're visiting the past or whatever and so you think you're going backwards, but you're not. You're actually going up, around, and in a loop, and back up. So if that makes sense. So do you see how this spiral here, it starts here, and like, you know, instead of going like, oh, I'm going backwards, right? You're actually going around, and then back up, right? And then back up, and then back up, and back up. So it's revisiting something, right? But it's learning from it. It's achieving enlightenment from it. And it's growing from it. So it's a constant upward spiral of enlightenment and nirvana, if that makes sense, right? So the energy is absolutely beautiful. So the spiral dancer is the guide that's helping you. And she's the one that teaches us that about that sacred spiral. About, you know, when we think we're going over and over and over again with the lesson, what we're actually doing is we're learning it and we're refining it and we're ascending from that energy, all right? We're not revisiting the same wound. We're ascending from the wound. We're ascending from the lesson. You know, few people actually take the lesson and actually learn from it and ascend from it. Sometimes people learn from it and then they repeat the same lesson again. But not you, Scorpio. You're learning it and you're ascending from it. The energy is fucking beautiful. Yeah? Mommy. Okay, so if you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio, go ahead and thumb up the video, please. Um, share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're not. It's completely free. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, all you have to do is click on the description box below my videos and click on the Goldie Appoint Fix and you'll be able to book me from there. Um, also, don't forget to hit the little notification bell because then you won't miss a video that I upload. Um, you have to make sure that you click it and then hit all because YouTube changed things around. Now everything's just personalized and I've been uploading at least um, every other day, every two days. So. I mean, I'm, I'm on fire. So just like you, Scorpio, I'm on fire. We on fire. Okay, it's because I'm a Scorpio rising, probably. <laughs> All right, so I love you, Scorpio. Hope you enjoyed this reading. You're fucking incredible. All right, bye.